basically, earthquakes are ground movements responding to accumulation of stress. And when the stress becomes much higher than the strength of the rock, it ruptures. And that process of rupturing sends waves along the earth crust. And that is what results in the vibration, which we call a tremor or earthquake. Most earthquakes have predisposition to occur in places we call the plate boundaries. The earth is made up of different plates. Like you can see in the projection there, those areas we are seeing the dots are the plate boundaries. And that is where we have so much earthquake along those areas. For instance, you'll be, you are aware that in Japan, there is a place we call the uh, Pacific uh, Ring of Fire. They are always experiencing earthquakes. It's because it's plate boundary. We also have the St. Andreas Fault towards the Western United States and many others. We also have the Mid-Atlantic Ocean uh, Ridge near uh, Africa. These are plate boundaries. But incidentally, most of the earthquakes we have in Nigeria are not, do not occur along the plate boundaries. They are intra, intra plate tectonics. And that is why it has been a puzzle to a lot of uh, geoscientists. So when we got the report of the air tremors in, in Pape, I think on the 5th, we dispatched a geologist and geophysicist to, on a fact finding. What actually is the cause of this? We interviewed the residents to find out the intensity of the vibration because we generally classify air tremors or earthquakes in terms of either the intensity or the magnitude. There are seven, uh, certain parameters that enable us to define the degree of intensity. For instance, when they went, they did not uh, witness any cracks on the walls of the building. They did not witness cracks on the, on the ground. So which means technically it's a, an air trauma of low, relatively low intensity. Now, we came back and did a lot of studies. Because earthquakes, like I said, usually follow areas of weakness or what we call fractures or faults. Now, we have conducted airborne magnetic survey of the whole country. And using the airborne magnetic survey, we can establish zones of fractures and zones of weaknesses. So based on the, the location of Mpape and environs vis-a-vis -vis the zones of weakness. You can understand that that area has predisposition to having the kind of air tremor. We sent a team that interviewed a wide range of uh, stakeholders at Mpape and environs, including the mining companies. And of course, nobody will claim responsibility for what has happened because it's assumed that they are operating under best practices. So long as they are operating under best practices, you can attribute what has happened to mining. But that is not to say that some extra precautionary measures will not be adopted to ensure that this uh, does not happen again. And like you said, we have tectonic map of Nigeria. So we already have an idea on possible areas that uh, this thing could occur. But as you know, Natural disasters or natural phenomena do not really operate on specific defined principles. You could be expecting it here and it happens in the opposite direction. And that is why I said that we are deploying our seismic uh, uh, monitoring equipment because we need empirical data over short term, medium term and long term for us to be able to predict the occurrence of these uh, phenomena.
but never will work based on information from Niger Nigerian Geological Survey Agency. No, what I'm saying is that once we deploy this equipment, the information will not be for the exclusive use of Nigerian Geological Survey. All the stakeholders, including NEMA and research institutions, they then made available to them so that they can actually, in terms of preparedness for eventualities, they'll be in a position to offer assistance.